Hi, I'm Kamala, and uh, I'm an actress. I started acting when I was seven years old, and you may have seen me in some movies like Born in East L.A. or Deep Cover or Lightning Jack, but about 10 or 15 years ago, I started also writing, directing, and producing uh, because I felt like being an actress is great. It's a lot of fun. But being in the position of power and creating your own material is really where it's at, at least for me. Um, and in researching a film that I was doing called A Single Woman about our first U.S. Congresswoman, Jeanette Rankin, who was elected in 1916 before women had the vote, I found out something that really made me mad. Joel can tell you, <laughs> it made me so mad. I found out that men and women still do not have equal rights in the United States of America. So some of the civic actions that I have taken um, involve talking to Congress people and senators, talking to elected representatives, talking to the commissioner for women, uh, the uh, superintendent of my district, to the local high schools, to the colleges, to the faculties of the schools where I am, and explain to them that yes, women do care about equality, and even though it's been a long time since this issue has been raised, there is interest. And I can back that up by showing them all the interest that I've built with my media. So. In, I'll give you one example. I was speaking at, a, um, at an event called the Exceptional Merit and Media Awards about why was it that men and women still were not equal under the law? And how could it be that in this day and age that's still the case? And somebody was in the audience. Somebody happened to be Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, Democrat of New York, who was about to sponsor the Equal Rights Amendment in the Congress the next week. And she came up to me and she said, do you really think you can get people to care about this through media? And I said, I have no doubt. And she said, go do it. Because one thing that I have found out through the last three years is our elected officials need us to reach out to them with our civic action projects because that's the fuel they need to get the job done. If we don't reach out to them, they don't think anybody cares. And if they don't think anybody cares, they're going to focus on where they're getting the push from their constituents. That's how democracy works. We're the, we're the citizens. We say, hey, this is wrong. Who do we say it to? The people that we put there to fix it. And those are the people in your community, in your city, in your state, and in Washington that you need to talk to about your civic action project.